this event, it was seven years after the close of Vatican II, the gathering that became exactly what John the Twenty Third had expressed hope that it would be, and that is a new Pentecost. At the descent of the Holy Ghost at the real Pentecost, the one true Church of Christ received, as it were, her soul. In his encyclical on the mystical body of Christ, Pius XII cites his predecessor as stating, This presence and activity of the Spirit of Jesus Christ is tersely and vigorously described by our predecessor of immortal memory, Leo XIII, in his encyclical letter Divinum Illud, in these words, Let it suffice to say that, as Christ is the head of the Church, so is the Holy Spirit her soul. The Second Vatican Council was also an ensoulment event. This is where the conciliar church was ensouled, not with the spirit of Jesus Christ, but with the spirit of the evil one, the devil. Now, does that sound a little bit harsh to you? If it does, don't blame me. Blame it on the Catechism of the Council of Trent, also known as the Roman Catechism. This spirit, first imparted to the apostles, has, by the infinite goodness of God, always continued in the church. And just as this one church cannot err in faith or morals, since it is guided by the Holy Ghost, so, on the contrary, all other societies arrogating to themselves the name of church must necessarily, because guided by the spirit of the devil, be sunk in the most pernicious errors, both doctrinal and moral. Now, we could do a dozen or more episodes on the pernicious doctrinal and moral errors of the conciliar church, including those that are put forth in writing in its Magna Carta, the text of Vatican Council II, and we would barely scratch the surface. And so there's only one conclusion to be drawn from this as a result. If the Roman Catechism and the bimillennial magisterium of the church can be trusted, and I'm here to insist that they can be trusted, then the society that has been in occupation of the Vatican for the past 60 or so years has only arrogated to itself the name of church. And it is, in fact, guided by the spirit of the devil. Worst of all, it even dares to call itself the Catholic Church. And though many have been deceived into believing that it is the church, the true church, it's nothing of the sort. It's an imposter. The most egregious case of identity theft that the world has ever seen. 